In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to cover the basics of how the 3D primitives work. Uh, the 3D primitives are going to be over on the left side of the Home tab, so they're the very first uh, tool in the modeling panel. So right now I happen to have Box on top, but if I hit this little drop down, you'll see that there are a variety of 3D primitive shapes that AutoCAD will basically help you make. Um, I find that I don't use these very often. I tend to start start from scratch and um, you know make my own shapes, but these can be exceptionally useful for things like cones and pyramids and those types of shapes that are definitely a little bit trickier. So I'm not going to go through each and every one of them, but I'm going to cover the basics of how they work, and they're really straightforward. So the first one, box for example, will in fact help you create a 3D solid box. All right, so I'm going to pick box, and then notice down in my command line it says specify the first corner or center, so you have some options there. I'm going to do this over on the right side in my southwest isometric view, and I'm just going to kind of click, you know, towards the bottom near the origin point. Now, I could actually type in 0, 0, to start this at the origin point, but I'm not super concerned about that right now. So I'm just going to click. And when I do that, I can either just pull my mouse out to create sort of an arbitrary shape, or I could type in C to make a cube, so it would be equal both ways, or length, and then I can make something different. If I just do this without typing in, it'll give you an idea of what this is going to look like. So I can just pull my mouse out and click where I like it, and then I pull my mouse up or down to make it actually 3D. Once I do that and actually end the command, you'll see that now it appeared in my top view as well. So I'm just seeing the actual rectangle from the top, and then here my shape is over on the right in 3D. Because I'm in 2D wireframe, I'm actually seeing through it, so it looks a bit like one of those cubes you learn to draw when you're a kid. But if I switch from 2D wireframe to something like conceptual, for example, I'm able to see this in more of a shaded type of view and see that it's actually you know, a solid object, not just um, lines. So I'm just going to switch that back to 2D wireframe. And I'm just going to click on that and hit the delete key or erase it so I can do that again. So I'm going to grab the box tool and once again specify where I'd like to start it. And now, instead of just clicking, I'm going to type in L for length. Once I do that, you'll see that it lets me specify the length. Now, right now, I have this rubber banding effect that um, is going all over the place. If I come down to the bottom of my screen, it would probably be a good idea to turn on ortho so that I get a nice straight line. So let's pull my mouse out, and I'll say, how about maybe 6 inches? So go out 6 and then it's specify the width. So once I have that in place, I can specify the width and maybe I'll do 9 inches. And now I can specify the height, which I will do maybe 12. Enter. Once I've done that, I've gone off my screen just a little here, so I can use the wheel on my mouse to zoom out and then push down the wheel to pan. So I can scroll out or in and pan around to actually see this you know, in my viewport just a little bit better. So that's using the box primitive tool. And you'll find that the rest of them work in a very similar fashion. So a cylinder, we will be able to put in the radius of the circle, for example. So I'm going to specify the center point. And then I can either just click and arbitrarily draw or specify the radius. So I could say the radius is 3 inches and then how tall I would like it, so maybe 6 inches for example. So each of the primitives is going to have a you know, slightly different uh, way of putting in the numbers, but the idea for each one is going to be the same. So you just need to read the command line and type in the numbers that you're interested in.